Jesus. Hallelujah. My pastor, Elder Cornell Carter, and his wife, First Lady Irma Carter, yeah. we say welcome on today. We're so glad that you are with us, and we're so glad to be with you on today. Amen. At this time, we're going to have our prayer. Our invocation is going to come from none, none other than Deacon Fran Rogers this morning. Let's say amen for him. Let's pray amen. with him as I lead him in Those that 
good to make it to church. You can't, my Lord. Yeah. Glory to God. Help him, my Lord. Help him in the mind, Father. To not give up, my Lord. To keep seeking, Father. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. To keep asking and to keep asking. Jesus, in Jesus, in Jesus, Christ of 
Can you turn up just a little bit more? Just yeah, yeah, Thank you so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's a song that says, There is a name I love to hear. together we are grateful indeed that the Lord has blessed us mm -hmm. uh, we take nothing for granted yes. but because of his mercy yes. and his grace that we are here yes. we are also mindful yes. that God has allowed us to be here not that because we have done anything, but because he loved us. Yes. 
And the other verse of the song said, How shall I forget? Amen. Amen. 
And I said, Lord, for your servant's sake, give me a word. Yes, yes. Amen. And I believe that the Lord put a word down in my heart for us. To help us to see, Lord, in times like these, and the first lady said, Lord, don't let me make the Holy Ghost ashamed. The Bible says in Hebrew how easily it is for sin that do it beset up. You know, the people of God take so much for granted. Sometimes, without even knowing it, we have drifted so far away from God. Amen. It just feels like it's right, and we don't know how far we have drifted until we get back down on our knees. And we visit God and they may ask God, Lord, where am I? Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. And God amen, is going to help us again to see amen, how far we have drifted yes. when we get out of the will of God. Yes. I want to draw your attention to some scripture references. Yes. Amen. How the Lord... Amen. Uh, gave this one man so great a promise. Amen. And, and yet, of all that God gave him, how he failed. But yet, the grace of God, amen, is something I know, but I don't understand its depths. How God, in spite of, amen, has never left us, nor has he forsaken them. So today, I want to draw your attention to 1 Samuel to give us some scriptural references and background. 1 Samuel chapter 21 and we're going to read of some great things that God has done and yet the failure on our part. David being chased by Saul. Mm -hmm. Saul having been neglected or rejected by God for his continual disobedience mm -hmm. and would not turn yes. after God tried repeatedly to get him to turn, yes. he failed to turn. Yes. He spent more time chasing a righteous man than the man who was after his soul. He spent more time trying to kill David yeah. rather than to kill the enemy, which was the Philistine. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how we can so easily get our priorities mixed up? And now, David now having a conversation with Saul's son, Jonathan. And Jonathan told David, meet me in the field. And me and the man who will carry my shield, and in praise Lord, that uh, I'm, I'm going to teach you uh, what I'm going to say. Yeah. And he said, if the arrow fly a long ways past, I say, run and don't come back. Amen. If the arrow falls short, I tell you, it's all right to come. But the scripture said no one understood the language but David and Jonathan. So it came to pass that Jonathan shot the arrow a long way and he told the young man, amen, that was uh, his armor bearer, uh, Jonathan's armor bearer, run and run a long way because the arrow is a long way back. And David knew it's not ever safe to return back into the house of Saul because he's determined to kill me. And so David ran. This story picks up here that David feared for his life. And David ran. And the scripture says, Second Samuel, or First Samuel, I'm sorry, chapter 21. And David said unto Ahimelech, the priest, the king has commanded me a business. And has said unto me, let no man know anything of the business world about I send you and what I have commanded you. And I have appointed my servant to such and such a place. Yes. David lied. Okay. I want to show you that 
when we are in a tight, out of the will of God, how many things we do to try to protect my own arm. Sometimes the people of God always think I'm better than that. No, you are not. Amen. Only, amen, so amen. Only by the grace of God. Amen. And we know that we need God. I heard the first lady say, and I agree 100%, I make daily repentance a part of my everyday. Lord, help me. Yes. Forgive me. Yes. Wash me. Amen. Yes. And David said, because I'm on the run. Yeah. And the scripture said, Ahimelech, and he feared because David was alone. Amen. And David is the king's son-in-law. Okay. Why are you alone? Uh -huh. David told Ahimelech, I'm, I'm, I'm here on the king's business. But actually, I'm running, I'm fearing for my life. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. So you see, say, we're not living white yet. I'm a work in progress. Yeah. And David, amen, asked Ahimelech, amen, the priest, do you have anything here under your hand, any bread or any type of protection? David ran and didn't have a sword. He didn't have a bow. He didn't have a sheep. He didn't have anything but what was on him. Amen. And Ahimelech said, the only thing I have here is the shoe bread, amen, and that's only for the priest only. Amen. It was consecrated bread. Yes, and he said the only way I can allow you to be a partaker is that you have refrained yourself from women or any unclean thing. And David said, I can assure you, amen, I've been clean for three days. All right. Amen. amen. And Ahimelech said, the only weapon I have here is the one that you cut Goliath's head off with, and that is Goliath's soul. And David said, give it to me. All right. Now listen at this. Uh -huh. David, amen, after Ahimelech fed him. And David took off. But nevertheless, there's no perfect crime. Uh -huh. David thought he got away. But there was a witness. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And someone recognized David. But David didn't recognize them. And it came to pass after a while that David's lie called over 100 and some people to die. Oh my God. Come on, there was a man, an Edomite. The Bible calls his name Dewey. Yes, and after he went back and, and, and heard that Saul was seeking David, and this Edomite said, I know where he is. Amen. He was hiding in the house of Ahimelech. And Ahimelech said, and Saul said, bring him to me. And Saul questioned Ahimelech, why did you hide my enemy from me and did not choose to tell me? And as a result, the scripture said, amen, Saul commanded his men to fall on God's high priest. And the men, amen, that Saul commanded were afraid. And this man, Dewey, amen, had, amen, a murder in his heart. And he killed 85 high priests. Plus their women, their wives, and children. How many lies have we told that caused somebody not to come to church? Amen. Amen. How many people are on death row spiritually because I fringed my salvation and didn't tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth? How many people will never put their foot in somebody's church because they saw me doing wrong and I came to church and sat on my testimony? Amen, somebody. God now is teaching us when we get out of the will of God, don't you tell me how low you won't go. Because sometimes you don't know how far you drifted until you see yourself far from the peaceful shore. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen, somebody. Amen. Another reference I want to show you is uh, 1 Samuel 27. 
Hmm. David now has left the peaceful land of Israel. And David went over into the camp of his enemy. David strategized. This is what we share in Sunday school and Bible study. Be careful when you say, I think. Be careful, amen, how you come to your own conclusion. David decided, he said, one day I'm going to die at the hand of Saul. And so he left Israel. And he went down to the land of the Philistines. Why did he go there? Because he knew his enemy Saul was afraid of the Philistines and would not cross into their land. And David felt like, I'm going to be safe there. But out of the will of God, you're never safe. The song wrote, said that the safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. And out of the will of God, children of God, there's nothing you won't do. Don't you say, I never do that. Amen, somebody. Amen. When you're out of the will of God, amen, that the enemy can shuffle you around. I don't care how anointed you are. Yes, David stepped out of the will of God for 18 months, I believe he was. And for 18 months, David did not hear from the Lord. Amen, somebody. Amen. Those who understand, amen, how important it is to have a fresh anointing. Those who understand how important it is for a fresh word from God. Those who know how important it is that when you pray, I don't want to wait five months, God, until you finally wake up and say, oh, well, he did call, let, let me call him back. Amen, somebody. Amen. When you pray and need an answer, you want an old time, God. Yes, David stayed amen, in the camp of the Philistine amen, that long and did not hear a word from the Lord. And when God is not leading, I read a scripture that said, as many as are led by the Spirit, they are all the children of God. And when you're not leading by the hand of God, who's leading you? What well of water are you drinking from? Amen. The old folks said, what pot liquor are you drinking? You'd be surprised if Ella Carter taught, amen, how the wrong people can easily influence your right mind. When you're out of the will of God. Amen. 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 David found himself amen, down in the hands of the Philistine. Yes. Not only that, but now listen at this. Yes. David now, since I'm down amen, in the Philistine, uh -huh. David did another thing that was wrong. Uh -huh. Amen. There was a king called Achish. And David now, amen, uh, having been assigned a place by this king, amen, David decided one day, amen, that I'm going to fight against my long enemy. And then David went out with his 600 men and fought. And every camp he invaded, he killed everybody. The baby, the young people. Sure. He didn't want to leave any witnesses because they're going to come by and say, yes, that's the man, so I'm going to kill all the evidence. And rightfully, they were God's enemy. Yes. However, when David found return, Okish said, how was your journey today? And David said, yes, possible, because I went the south journey this way and the south journey that way. So the king thought automatically that he was going to fight Judah. 
or his own enemy. And so David deceived him. Mmm, about it. How many times have we stood in the defense amen, of misleading people and I'm, I'm, I'm causing you to think one way when it's, amen, somebody. Amen. I'm, amen. I'm not talking about general people. I'm talking about one of the highest honor people in the Bible, King David. And I'm talking about someone that, amen, a, 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 a highly decorated man anoints him who was Samuel. Yes. And then the Bible, amen, also had the caveat to that when David, God said, I'm going to uh, select them in after my own heart. Amen. Look at how great. I mean, God had this man, and look how miserably he failed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. But yet, I mean, God saw all of that. And God never turned his back on it. Praise the Lord. Not only that, amen, but look at how after David, uh, uh, again, uh, 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 the, the Philistines and Israel was about to make war. Now look how God intervened, even though we're wrong, saints of God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, amen, somebody. Look how God go with us. Amen, amen. And, and, and he's not condoning what I'm doing, but I'm still protecting you. Yes, yes. Sometimes, amen, God gives us to come back to our senses. Yes. Amen. The Philistines will make war with Israel. And this king made David his bodyguard. Yes, yes. And David was going along with him. And, uh -huh. amen. and one of the men of the, of the Bible called the lords right. of the Philistine, amen, was uneasy with David. Uh -huh. And said, what is this man doing with us? <laughs> amen. amen. He's the man that Israel sings songs about. Saul slain his thousand and David his ten thousand and they said we don't want this man to go with us. Amen. Look how God using the enemy amen, to defend our honor. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm, somebody. That's good. David didn't know how he was going to get out of that mess. And somehow amen the king amen of Gath told David well the lords of the Philistines are uneasy you go back your way. And God delivered David by the hands of the enemy. Yes, yes, he did. Now watch this. After David left and got out of that scrape, uh -huh. David went back amen, to look for his family in Ziklag. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. David got back to Ziklag. Yes, his wife, yes. or his wives, yes. his children, yes. The 600 men and their children and their wives had been taken. And no evidence left. Now watch this. And the men got angry. My wife, listen, when somebody taking your wife, the first thing, the memory that crossed your mind is that my wife is going to be the concubine. Yeah. Uh -huh. Take my children and sell them. Sell them. Yes, Misuse my children. So David, amen, they were talking about stoning him. Yeah. Yeah. Now listen, you out of the will of God. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You praying to God and it looked like it's echo in the room. You see him praying up and look at me coming back down again to you. Finally, David got to a place that he realized, Lord, I need your help. Okay, 
said, whom the Son has made free. You're free indeed. But you're allowing yesterday to cripple your today and hinder your tomorrow. There are people who have put their lives in jeopardy because of what somebody else is holding over your head. If the Bible is right, somebody got to be wrong. I take all of your sin. I put them in the sea of forgetfulness. And God said, I will never, I will never, I will never remember them. If the best fainted, yes. Jesus. Amen. Amen. What about the people who are just learning by revelation? Amen. That's right. That's right. If yes. the best saw yes. demonstrated a walk with God firsthand, yes, if the best saw, yes. what can the heroes do? Mm -hmm. Amen. And God is teaching us a lesson here today. No matter what your yesterday was, God is. God is. Oh, yeah. 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 Too many saints got long memories. Yeah. 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 Too many saints and they cannot divorce yesterday. Amen. Too many people still have a fresh memory yeah. of what God said, I forgot. Yeah. Some of us remind me of King Saul uh -huh. after God took his spirit away from King Saul. And then Saul was left with an adversary from God that is the devil. Yes. One day he's angry and mean and full of hatred. Uh -huh. And then when he get around anointed people, uh -huh. they pray him out. They fast him out. They sing him out. And God delivered and you're all right. But as soon as the song ceases, as soon as the saints go away, as soon as there's no more, amen, I remember Jesus. You get back into you and the devil even vet your mind again and you want to kill all over again because of what somebody you thought did on you. So I want to share that with you to let you know, amen, that there's no need to come to church knowing that I've got issues. Knowing that, amen, every day with the Lord is a brand new spirit because I know that I, if the enemy is smarter than I. He knows where I'm trying to get because he's been there and done that. The Bible calls him the father of all lies. Now how can you beat the man who invented the lie? I sometimes sit and look and I'm in the equation too. Ever call to ask, does anybody need prayer? And I know that there's something going on in your mind that we need help and God's going to throw out the lifeline because somebody is drifting away. And we sit right down. Drifting far from the peaceful shore. My life is in jeopardy and I'm going to throw away all of that for something else. Mm. Now, I want to share that with you because too many people come to church looking for something and needing something. And why come all the way to the hospital 
and, and the doctor said you were next, and then get out the line and go back home. Yes. With the, Amen. God wants his people to know I'm with you. Yes, sir. The Lord wants us to know amen, that uh, 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 no matter what has come in your life, I can heal, I can deliver. I praise God today because here we are again. And the Lord has blessed us this day. Amen. To bring us back again unto him. No matter what the enemy is trying to do. The Bible teaches us that as Jesus said unto Peter, Peter, Satan has desired to have you. And not only that, but if you take Peter's name out and put your name there, I desire to have you. And I do anything through anybody by any means possible to keep you away from what God has because I've been there I know how good God is but if you're crazy enough to believe a lie amen that the devil tell you God don't care and you come to church and sit right there when Jesus said come unto me There's a scripture that reads in Paul's teaching, for if any man think himself to be something when he or she is nothing, you deceive yourself. Yes, sir. Mother Jefferson said, let's stop playing church. I ain't coming here because amen, I don't have nothing else to do. I'm coming here because I know that the adversary of my soul is trying to damn me. As Ella Carter said, I ain't trying to go to hell for nothing and nobody. I don't love nobody that good, amen, to give up my salvation for you when you got the same opportunity. Yes, sir. Hey, man, somebody. Amen. Go with me to Psalms 85. Mm -hmm. Let's read a little bit. Mm -hmm. Turn your Bibles. Mm -hmm. Read along with me. Ella Carter said, We are a read yes. on church. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Psalms. 85. Uh -huh. Amen. And as I was asking God, Lord, you know what's in man. Uh -huh. You know the heart and mind of your people. Yes. <clears throat> I dare not trust in me. Okay. My mind is unreliable. Uh -huh. My heart will deceive me. Yes. Amen. Amen. I can't trust even my own conscience. That's right. <laughs> Amen, somebody. Amen. I got to yield my mind over to the spirit of the Holy Ghost and he leads my mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Paul said, how be it in me, there is no good thing. And no. every good thing I have in me, James 1 and 7, he said, God, sit it down. Yes. So why should I try to rely on my intellect when it will deceive me? Amen. 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 Mm. Psalm 85, verse 1. Lord, you have been favorable unto your land. You have brought back the captivity of Jacob. You have brought back. I once was true to you, but I played the whole. Okay, okay. That's right. And I left you. But in spite of all of the damaging things, oh, yes. in spite of the lifestyle that I live, mm -hmm. you brought me back, back. again back. into yes. your land. Yes. You have forgiven the iniquity of your people. Yes. You have covered all their sin. Uh -huh. You have taken away all your wrath. 
You'll turn yourself from the fierceness of your anger. Turn us, O oh God, of our salvation yes. and cause your anger towards us to cease. Yes. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you draw out your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again? That your people may rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, O oh Lord. And grant unto us your salvation. Let me talk to us again about revive us again. <laughs> agreement with your word. Sometimes God, we didn't like what direction yeah. you were leading us into. Uh -huh. You're telling me to wait, God, and look at you put me on that waiting list, and Lord, I'm trying to hear from you, and look like, amen, that you just forgot all about me, so Lord, amen, I took matter in my own hand and yeah. failed. There's people who have gone through bitter divorces. There are people who have gone through bitter marriages. I can't forget, amen, that man you slept with. I can't believe, amen, that woman you slept with. Amen, somebody. There are some people who don't know what they are. I was born a man, but I feel like a woman. Okay, okay. I got woman feet, but I, but I feel like, amen, I'm a man. Okay. There are some people going through all types of changes. There are some people, amen, who can't forgive. There are some people who are holding grudges against other people. I gave my life for you and look like my life is on hold and so Lord I'm having issues with that there's always issues with people in the, in the church Lord I was molested when I was a child and Lord it left me with deep laceration in my heart in my mind in my spirit I look like I'm saved, but Lord, every time, amen, somebody get close to me, amen, the old me comes out and I push people away because, Lord, I'm tired of being hurt. The people, when David went to recover his wives, his family, and all the people with him. And then the people before, I mean, they went out, they was talking about stoning David. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There are people who just out to use you for what you are. Oh, yeah. And when I need you, I, mean, I only call you when and if I need you. Yeah. I'm tired of being somebody's paper towel. convenient to you. There are some marriages, amen, the husband only needs you when I need you, but if I don't need you, get me get in the corner and sit down. There are some people getting more amusement at watching other people love up on each other more so than mine. And Lord, I'm so sick and tired of playing second fiddle. I don't know what to do, and yet the enemy is trying to torment my mind. Why put up with that? Go get somebody else. Lord, will you not revive me again? How long do you have to allow me to suffer going through? And Lord, look like the people that I'm trying to get close to. They want to see me as an asset. And then I realize, Lord, even today, Lord, how fragile I am. I realize today how many times the enemy had me going the opposite.
opposite direction of what God wanted me to go in. And then sometimes I got caught up in, in the lust of my mind. I got caught up in my pride. I got caught up in shame. And, and when God and it allowed the prayer line to be called, and when the devil and it called me to become heavy, I sit down and, it, and know I need the help that only come from God. But I decide to sit down and not to trust God. Lord, will you not revive me again? that we are talking about are not people who are just pure ranked sinners. All right. uh -huh. These people who have been called by my name. Uh -huh. I've shown you special fear. Oh, yes. I put such a fear on you that all the other nations were afraid of you. And then through temptation you took me for granted. You thought that because you were the people of God, I can do what I want to do yes. as long as it feels good to me. Amen. And then I, 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 I refuse just time it. Amen. I refuse saying, who are you to tell me what I can and can I do until amen, after a while the enemy moved me from here amen, over to there. We'll do it. We'll do it. I found myself out of the will of God. I found myself crying to the Lord and I found myself alone out here in a deserted place. I felt then that God today, your presence, I don't feel. Your anointing, I don't feel. Your goodness, I don't feel anymore. And Lord, I feel like I'm in a dangerous place because God, I feel me and it makes me feel so uncomfortable. I don't hear the songs of Zion anymore. I don't hear the praise of God anymore. All I hear is fear and trembling and torment in my mind. So I'm decided like the prodigal son, I'm going to get up in me, ask my good for do, do for good nothing, and I'm going to forget in me, what I was, and I'm going to go back home and forget my pride. I know who I was. I know what I was. I know I was a lost, good for nothing sinner. I was on my way to a devil's hell and nothing to pay my way out. I found myself a slave addicted to doing wrong. Even after I got tired of doing wrong, I couldn't stop doing wrong because I was a slave in my mind, a slave in my spirit, but God. After God delivered me, you mean I'm going to trade my salvation and go back to death? You mean I'm going to trade my deliverance and go back to being a slave again? You mean I'm going to trade my liberty in Christ Jesus where now I can really live and enjoy my life and I don't have to look back over my shoulder for what? God now, amen, today to, to let people know only the depths of my grace. And who do you know would give me such great promises? After God watched David fall and fall disgracefully. God told David, not only that, but I will pick you up. I will build you in house. And I'm going to allow my son to come through your name. Say, amen, somebody. If we can only realize how much God loves us and just come back again. Lord, revive me again. And you people may rejoice in the hope of this salvation. The devil is a liar. There's a verse that where sin abounded. It says much more. If you can understand the depths of God's grace, and I know in the human body, I mean, it's impossible to comprehend that. 
But one of the things that the Bible teaches us about King David, that God respected and loved, I always had a mind, God, to come into agreement. Well, I messed up, and I'm willing to throw up my hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. One of the seven things that God hates is pride. Yes, yeah. yeah. One of the things that will damn your soul so quick is unforgiveness. Yes, yeah. I don't care how bad it looks. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I don't care how deep the hurt was. Yeah. Some way, somehow, Pastor Carter God, stay with the church family. Yeah. We can pray you through. Yeah. We can hold your arms yeah. up. Yeah. We can tell you that God sees all. God knows all. Yeah. And God will deliver you all. First Peter 1 and 9 says, and God knows how to deliver the yes. godly act of temptation. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He does know. He knows how much you can bear. Yes, Only trust him. Yes. One of the things that God required as Jesus suffered for us in the flesh, all yes. yourself yes. likewise. But yes. one thing Keep this in mind. Yeah. It's going through. Yeah. The word through, in the midst of through, there's a word called rough. And amen, and, and God wants to see, amen, that in the midst of it all, my eyes is on you. Yeah. And not only that, but I don't care how many times you fail, yeah. but you got back up again. Don't let the enemy cause you to even get ashamed now. Don't let the enemy to call you to give up now. I like the song says, I just can't give up. Someone made the observation, I got too much time behind me. And the reason you see so much devastation is now the enemy knows his time is short. But Lord, will you revive me again? I don't care what I've been through. Lord, help me again. Lord, deliver my mind again. Lord, deliver my spirit again. Lord, let me not hold nothing in my heart that's not according to your will. People made you promises and people broke promises and then had to learn to snicker in your face. Yes, it hurt. We've been deceived by our own children and sometimes, praise the Lord, that we let them cause us to temporarily faint. But that's the time that we need God the more. Lord, help me amen, and help them too. Amen. Sometimes the burden is just too heavy for me to carry all by myself. I know this is going to be tough for some of you. But I've learned my shoulders are just big enough to support me. There's a scripture in Acts where it says, Save yourself from this untoward generation. Emma Carr teaches us that you cannot manage other people's feelings. Yes, God so loved the world. Amen. And he said that it's not my will that nobody should carry, but somebody decide to go to hell. But I pray, God, if you go to hell, I won't know it because the Bible says, Besides us, there's a great God. So if you suffer, I won't hear it. And not only that, but the Bible also teaches me that when the great resurrection comes back, I'll be giving another body. And even that body don't know anything about this world. So I'll be even living like God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Lord, revive us again. Amen tonight. Yeah. Do I walk contrary? Lord, revive us again. Yeah. Lord, don't even hate it built up in my heart. Lord, revive me again. Yeah. Lord, I was slow to forgive, but Lord, revive me again. Lord, I was big on revenge, but Lord, revive me again. 
to me. They think God they affected. <laughs> Open early in the morning. Uh-huh. And I'm conscious 
where I am. Lord, thank you. I didn't deserve it. I didn't add anything to it. And despite how bad I messed up. And like Elder Carter, when he was lying on the bed, fighting for his life, the devil said, quit. Somebody maybe got amen, the message ingrained in the heart. And when I come back to church, your sin is too great. And when I come back to church, because God amen, has forgotten about you. And when I pray, because the people are not going to rejoice with you. Amen. Amen. So we sat down on our do to nothing amen, and let sin and take us out like quick sand. Slow but sure. But Lord, will you revive us again? Amen, somebody. Thank God for a brand new hope. Thank God for the grace of God. Thank God for the mercy of God. I say, oh, scribe, come now and let us reason together, yes. said the Lord. Yes. Do you see me red like crimson? Yes. And that is bright red. Yes. And the only thing, pray Lord, that can wash blood away is the blood. Yes. There's no other chemical that can remove the stains of blood. But God can wash away whatever. Deep it is. God is merciful. Yes, he is. He's kind. Yes, he is. And he's gracious. Yes. I hope this message has been of some encouragement. Yes. 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 To let us see and to know we've committed more sins and errors and faults than we want to admit. But I come to the conclusion, Lord, revive us again. And then God, let us again, that we may rejoice in your salvation. And amen, we thank God for restoration. Thank God for deliverance. Thank God for the hope. Thank God for his power. Thank God for a brand new mind. Thank God. Putting back together the broken pieces. Yes, 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 yes. As I prepare to close, some hurts like David was convinced the only way to get away from Saul is to run away from God and run behind the enemy line. Yes. Some people got their own versions of the testimony that says, because I've been scarred so bad. I've been betrayed so long. I've been misused so long that they feel that there is nobody else who can call me to laugh again. I look at all people about the same and some people got trust issues. Oh, yes. I'm talking about the saints of God. I'm talking about people that the enemy, enemy used, scorned, yes. abused. Yes. I'm talking about people enemy, that the enemy tried to discredit you. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm trying to share with the people of God today that God like he did Job. Amen. The Lord told Satan, all that he has is in your hand. Only don't take his life. Something in our early days, when I believe in God for total deliverance, amen, and God was teaching us that all things work Together yes. for good to them who love God, yes. to them who are the call according to my purpose. I know. This
this is hard, but I, I like what my late sister said. Somebody got to be the guinea pig. If not first, then experiment on animals. They will know how good the medicine is. Sometimes doctors use human to see how good the medicine is. But God said today, I need a witness to prove that I am God. I can heal, I can deliver, I can bring you out, I can lift you up, I can restore in everything. When he found out where the Amalekites were who invaded his land, took the wives and children, and David finally got back into the will of God, and David said, Lord, shall I go up? And shall I recover all? And the Lord said, surely, surely, you're going to overtake them and you shall recover all. You, you, you see, somebody is satisfied with a little bit. Uh -huh. Where the devil beat me down. And the devil took nearly everything. And even now, somebody will settle for the scraps. If I come that you can have life, I can't even enjoy listening to this. If I come that you may have joy and then have it more abundantly, it's impossible to live in this world and I'm sharing half of God's goodness and the devil sharing over half. If I'm going to have full control, I need to put him under my Feet. I don't care how much you kick up, but you're under. There are some enemies. There are some things. There are some people who got more sense so in your environment than they ought to have. If you settle for that, I mean you settle for half living. But I come that you may have life. And that you may have it. The word have is a present tip verb. It don't mean I take a little bit and give you a little bit. But you can have it more abundantly. So all that God give me, I ain't trying to share, amen, all that God give me with somebody else who want to take mine and use it as they will. Know this mine, get your own. Hallelujah. First Lady Carter said, if it ever caught his mind and no sharing. Amen. 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 Somebody. Amen. All that God gives me belongs to me. Amen. And all that God gives you belongs to you. Amen. And I don't have no room to cover yours in my heart because Amen. I have enough. Amen. Lord, revive us again. Amen. I don't want to come to church and deliver. I don't want to come to church listen at what God is saying. I don't want to come to church and watch you dance. I don't want to come to church and see you lifting up your hand and say, Lord, he sure blessed them saying. And I'm sitting on the sideline about ready to dry up. Lord, revive me again. Lord, anoint us again. Fight. 
So it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what your status quo is in God. If you don't keep looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher, yeah. you're going to find yourself somewhere and ask him, how did I get way over here? Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's easy to drift. Yes, it is. Amen. Yes, it is. All you have to do is to stop reading. Stop praying for a few days. Yeah. Start to size things up based on the carnality of your own mind and your intellect. Start to use a part of God's word yeah. with today's terminology. Yeah. Yeah. And you will see in the long run amen, how far you have drifted and how much God wants you to know but how much you don't know. And I began to reread. I said, Now, Lord, look how much you care for your people. And then, Lord, how much you're willing to do for your people. As much God as they walk out on you and be in your eyes beholding all the good and the evil. And yet, God, you said, Come unto me, and I will give you rest. The Lord wants to strengthen us. The Lord wants to help us. In these last days where people are boasting and bragging in whatever source of help there is, I see too much of this, and people are talking about how I overcome uh, trouble. Uh, 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 how I did to survive. Uh, uh, how that we made it in spite of. Uh, uh, how that, yes, it was tough, uh, but the people around me helped me. I see a lot of external sources but I don't see God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the news eat it up because they said she did it. Yeah, she. Uh -huh. The news eat it up because look how they recovered. Uh -huh. But the news doesn't want to hear that God uh -huh. brought me up. So saints today, wherever you find yourself, and whatever situation that you're in, uh -huh. we need to cry, Lord, revive us again. Because I want to see walk in the joy of your salvation. I want to take this light or this hope uh -huh. or this peace for them. Uh -huh. And Lord, you've been favorable unto us. Yes, yes. That you have yes. brought us again. Yes, yes. The enemy desire to damn all my soul. Oh, yes, oh, yes. But Lord, you brought us back again. Yes. For this call, we're thankful. Yes. Shall we stand, please? Only God knows where you are. Mm -hmm. Only God knows what you stand in need of. Mm -hmm. But God called us. Because I want to put you on display. Yes. And I can't put you on display when there are too many other things attached to you. Right. right. I want to show my pure salvation. How that you can walk in this world and be independent and enjoy your life and not of the world. Mm -hmm. I want to teach people that you are the salt of the earth. I want to teach people how that this is how the Lord is out for silly rather than holding uh, the wrong spirit, the wrong things in our heart. Shall we pray? Gracious Father, you know our hearts. You know our minds. You know what we need and what we stand in need for. Lord, help us. Yes. Wherever the hurt, yes. wherever the wrongdoing, wherever the misuse, 
I ever loved today, my thoughts were gone. I pray, God, now that you have allowed us again to come, this time, help us to get it right. This time, help us to press toward the mark. Help this people, deliver this people, restore this people with the mindset. I come to fight the good fight of faith. Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I pray, Lord, today, even as your word has come forth, it shall not return unto you, Lord, but it shall accomplish that which you have sent out to. I pray even, God, today, let the people again realize, thank you again, God, because you helped me, oh my God, today. You touched me and you restored me. Even now, Lord, because of these things and these principles and because of the covenant and of the blood of Jesus, we give you this prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen.